Hi and welcome to The Real Woman Philadelphia on Paulding.com. I'm Claudia coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. I am so excited today because it's side dishes and we're going to be using my favorite product, the Philadelphia Cooking Creams, to make the side dishes this week. The warm weather has finally rolled in here in Atlanta and as a result we're seeing in the markets all of the nice fresh summer fruits and vegetables are coming in or becoming very plentiful and there's a great variety of them that we can now get our hands on more readily to make some great transitional dishes transitioning from first from winter to spring and now from spring over into our summer menus I'm going to use the original blend to make a sweet and cool and crisp bisque now a bisque is a creamy soup but it doesn't have to be heavy and by using this original Philadelphia cooking cream it's gonna cut down my need to make a bechamel or any other type of cream that you need to make a bisque because a cream is the basis for a bisque now when you first hear the name of what I'm going to make it might sound a little strange but I promise you when I blend these two fruits together with this original cooking cream and two other ingredients it comes together to make a wonderful creamy um, bisque that is sweet and savory at the same time. What are these two ingredients? First of all, watermelon. Isn't that cute? This was actually uh, for my mother. My mother used to use it. She had a whole set of them with even some little baskets. But this is the only piece that I have left from her, so I kind of cherish it. But whenever I think of watermelon, I really think about my dad. My dad is now 89 years old, soon to be 90, and I remember when I was a little girl, my dad would take me down to the Vucare. We lived in Uptown New Orleans, right on the streetcar line. And I remember every Saturday morning, and he never missed it, we would walk down to the streetcar line, board the streetcar and we would take it down to Canal Street which is the main street that runs through New Orleans and then we would get off and we would walk down to the Bucare where there was this huge French market they had watermelons every type of fresh fruit or vegetable that you could readily imagine my dad had a special method of picking watermelons I remember standing there as he would carefully put his ear down to them like this and he would pluck on them and um, I'm not sure what he was listening for, but I know he would always say, shh, be quiet now so I can hear. And I would stand there, you know, wide-eyed and in amazement thinking that my dad had some kind of special power for picking a watermelon. And maybe he did because he always chose the juiciest, most succulent, ripened melon. And so after he would do that, he would um, ask the vendor to take a plug out of it and he would bite it. And then he would hand it down to me to give me a bite. And then he would take the watermelon, put it up on his shoulder, and catch me by the other hand. And I remember skipping along, you know, with the thought, relishing the thought of getting back home to our uptown home so that we could sit out on the gallery and enjoy this wonderful watermelon that my dad had just handpicked. And that just might explain why the watermelon is one of my favorite fruits of all time. Next on the list for me is cucumbers. I love cucumbers and they remind me fondly of my mother for two reasons. Number one, she made the best cucumber onion salad um, with a sweet vinaigrette that contained what she called her secret ingredient. Well, her secret ingredient was cane syrup instead of sugar. And it was wonderful on the cucumbers when they were combined with those onions. The second thing that my mom used to do cucumbers is she used to use them for medicinal she purposes. Slice them, soak them in rubbing alcohol, and place them on her joints when she would be aching. And um, she said that it would relieve the soreness uh, of her joints whenever she was in pain. In order to make our bisque, we first are going to have to peel and dice our cucumbers and also to dice up our watermelon so that it's going to be real easy when we go to incorporate into the so now bisque. I'm just going to use a regular vegetable peeler and I'm going to start just peeling our cucumber. Go ahead and give your cucumber 
some cross sections and then you just give it a nice smooth run through. Now we're ready to do our watermelon in much of the same way. Put them in the bowl on the side, not mixed together, and just keep going until you get your watermelon all diced. So my watermelon's all ready, my cucumber's all ready, and now I'm going to put it together with our original Philadelphia cooking cream to make my cucumber watermelon bisque. I'm going to be using my food processor to blend this all together. Basically, I'm just going to put everything in the food processor, blend it all together, and then transfer it over it into a pot on the stovetop to warm it up. But you can serve this bisque any of three ways, and that's the beauty of it. It's versatile. You can serve it warm, cold, or even room temperature. But no matter how you serve it up, it always comes out great, especially when you use the original Philadelphia cookie. If you don't have a food processor? Not to worry. You can pour all of this down into a mixing bowl and mix it up well, and then just transfer it into a pot onto your stovetop. But mix it up very, very well, because one of the trademarks of a good bisque is the texture. You want it to be smooth. Now, I must admit, at the end, we're going to cheat a little bit because I am going to garnish this bisque with some watermelon right down in the center so that when you taste the bisque, you're going to get a bite of that watermelon and that sweet and savory is just going to make your palate happy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just add our cucumbers right into our food processor. And we're also going to add just a few pieces of our watermelon right down in there followed by our heavy cream. Pour it right in. This is so easy. You just want to get them all down in there so that we can mix them up. I'm going to add our Kraft Cucumber Ranch Salad Dressing. Our dill. And of course, our Philadelphia cooking cream. We're using the original. Now all of our ingredients have been placed into the food processor. Remember if you don't have one, just use a regular mixer mixing bowl, but make sure you mix it up well so that your bisque is nice and creamy. So I'm just going to go ahead and give everything a quick stir and make sure that it's all blended down in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pulse it transfer it over into my little pan here on the stovetop, warm it up, and we'll be ready to eat. So this is what our bisque looks like once we've uh, gone ahead. I pulsed it in my food processor. See those flakes of dill in there? And you can see a little bit of the flecks of the watermelon, and it's filled with that creaminess. You see that creamy texture? Made possible and easy by the um, addition of the original Philadelphia cooking cream. So now I'm just going to take our bisque, I'm just going to ladle it into our saucepan. Ooh, look at that. Creamy. We're just going to warm it for maybe about five minutes so that all the flavors quell together um, into that creamy texture. And then we're going to garnish it with some watermelon. Talk about good, y'all.